Welcome to this tutorial. Today, you'll learn how to clone and set up the Laravel 12 HR system project from GitHub. Whether you're a developer looking to manage employees or just exploring Laravel, this guide will walk you through everything you need to get started from cloning the repository to running the project locally. Let's dive in and get your Laravel HR system up and running. Step one, clone the repository, open your terminal and type the following command. Navigate into the project directory. This command will download all the project files from GitHub directly to your local machine. Once it's done, you'll have a full copy of the Laravel 12 HR system ready for setup. Step two, navigate into the project directory. After cloning the project, move into the project folder by running this command. After you've cloned the project, open Visual Studio Code. From the welcome screen or the file menu, click open folder, then browse to the folder named. Select the folder and click open. Step three, install PHP dependencies using Composer. Before continuing, make sure Composer is installed on your machine. Now in your terminal inside the project folder, run the following command, composer install. This command will download and install all the PHP packages that Laravel needs to run the HR system. Step four, copy the .env file. Laravel uses the .env file to store your environment settings. In the terminal, run this command to create a copy of the example configuration cp.env.example.env. This creates a new NV file that you'll use to configure your database, app URL, and other settings. Step 5. Generate the application key. Laravel requires an application key to secure encrypted data. In your terminal, run the following artisan command, pp artisan key generate. This will generate a random key and automatically add it to your .env file. You should see a message confirming that the key has been set successfully. Step 6. Configure your .env file. Now open the .env file in your text editor. Scroll down to the database section and update it with your own database details. For example, Make sure that you've already created a database in MySQL named HR database or whatever name you've used here. This step is important for Laravel to connect to the correct database. Step seven, run database migrations. Now that your database is configured, it's time to create the necessary tables. In your terminal, run the following command, p artisan migrate. Before running the migration command, make sure your MySQL or database server is up and running. If it's not started, Laravel won't be able to connect to the database and you'll get an error. If you see this message, warn the database HRDB does not exist on the MySQL connection. Don't worry, this just means the database hasn't been created yet. Laravel will ask, would you like to create it? Simply choose yes and Laravel will automatically create the database for you. No need to open phpmiadmin or do it manually. After creating the database, you can use dBeaver to make sure everything was set up correctly. Open dBeaver, connect to your MySQL server and refresh the list of databases. You should see your database, for example, hrdb listed there. If it's visible, that means the database was successfully created and Laravel is connected properly. Step 8, serve the application. Now it's time to launch the Laravel development server. In your terminal, run this command, fab artisan serve. This will start Laravel's built-in server and give you a local URL, usually something like HTTP loss wash 127.0.0.18000. Open that link in your browser and you should see the Laravel 12 HR system homepage. Open that link in your browser. If everything is set up correctly, you'll be taken straight to the sign-in page of the Laravel 12 HR system. Sign up, create a new user account. On the sign in page, look for a link or button that says sign up or register and click it. Once you've completed the form, click the sign up button. After signing up successfully, the user is redirected to the sign in page to log in. Before signing in, the app verifies the email and password to ensure the user signed up successfully. After signing up successfully and verifying their email and password, the user can log in. After signing up and logging in successfully, the user is redirected to the main dashboard. 
in the navigation bar, there's a profile section, usually located at the top right corner. When the user clicks on it, a drop down menu appears with options like view profile, edit information, and log out. From here, users can easily update their personal details, such as name, email, or profile picture. The HR management function allows admins to manage employee records, including adding, updating, or removing staff, assigning roles, and tracking attendance or performance. To edit an employee record, click on employee listing from the sidebar. In the table, find the employee you want to edit and click the update employee button. Update the information in the form, then click update to apply the changes. Find the employee you want to remove, then click the delete button next to their name. To create a new holiday, click on holidays from the sidebar, then click the create holiday button. Fill in the holiday name, date, and any other details required. Once done, click save to add the new holiday to the system. In the holidays table listing, locate the holiday you want to edit. Make your updates, then click update to apply the changes. In the holidays table listing, find the holiday you want to remove. Click the delete icon or button next to it. To create a leave record, go to the sidebar and click on leave manage, then choose by employee. Click the add leave button. Select the employee, choose the leave type, set the date range and add any comments if needed. Once done, click save to create the leave record for that employee. After clicking save, you'll see a success message confirming the leave has been added. You'll then be redirected back to the leave listing where the new record appears in the table. Select the employee name, choose the leave type, for example, annual leave and set the start and end dates. You'll see a confirmation message and the new leave will appear in the list. To add a leave record as an HR user, go to the sidebar and click add leave HR. In the form, select the employee, choose the leave type, and set the leave period. Add any relevant notes or reasons for the leave. Now let's take a quick look at the main attendance section. From the sidebar, click on main attendance. To create a new department, go to the sidebar and click on departments. Then click the add department button. Enter the department name, for example, finance or IT applications. Add any additional details if required, then click save. You'll see a confirmation message and the new department will appear in the department list. In the list, find the department you want to update and click the edit button. Make the necessary changes like updating the department name or details, then click update or save. In the table, find the department you want to remove and click the delete button. Confirm the action if prompted. And that's a complete overview of the Laravel 12 HR system setup and features. We walked through cloning the project from GitHub, configuring the environment, setting up the database, and running the application. Whether you're managing a small team or a growing company, this system gives you a solid foundation to track and organize HR operations. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with others who may benefit. Thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial.